the person you fell in love with at the start of that relationship that you are trying to get back is never coming back. He's never coming back. She's never coming back. And here is why. That person never, ever existed. It was all a front. It was a facade. It was it was a mask and it was it was all fake so all the love the overwhelming love the overwhelming um romance the considerateness if that's a word the you know calling you beautiful and handsome and just you're the best thing that ever happened to them they overfeed you that's why it's called um love bombing they overfeed you these things so you can believe them. And once you believe it, once you fall for it, then they take it out from under you. And you get used to it. You get used to the gentle treatments. You get used to the compliments. You get used to the love. You get used to being told that you're the best thing that ever happened to them. You get used to all these compliments and just the high. You get used to a high. Um, these people are very arrogant they're unlikable they are evil they have negative energies they are demonic and so they can't be themselves when they meet you they have to become a person that is a 10 times better version of themselves and that's the person you fall in love with and because that is not who they really are once the mask slips off and the mask usually slips off when you get comfortable, when you get accustomed to the treatment, when you get um, used to them. That's when the mask slips off because you can't be fake forever, right? Something is going to happen and you have to be your real self. So the real self that you saw, the mean person, the person who put their hands on you, the person who told all those lies about you, the person who was evil and you just couldn't understand, that's really who they are. You would have never fell for them if that's the person they presented at the start of the relationship. You would have never, I don't care how cute they are, I don't care how beautiful, I don't care how successful, I don't care. Like you're smart, you are intelligent, you would have never fell for someone like that. So they had to create a person that you would actually fall in love with. And that's who you fell in love with. And that person, as I said, never existed. So you can stay for as long as you want, which I hope you don't. You can stay for years and years and years and years. And if you're in this position... Sorry, I got a call. If you're in this position or situation, you can attest to the fact that the the bad treatments, it just gets worse and worse. The longer you stay, the more they think you're dumb because now they're like, oh, you telling me I had to spend all this time, all of my money, all of my energy to create this fake personality for this person to like. And now that I'm showing who I am, they're still here. Oh, she's not smart. Oh, he's not smart. He's dumb. She's not the most intelligent person. So they actually think you're dumb because you're sitting there and taking all of the bad treatments, the insult, the beatings, the lies, the gaslighting. You're taking this. They don't think you're smart. And you're sitting there thinking, oh, I'm holding him down. Oh, we're just going through something. I'm going to be there for him. He thinks you're stupid. He doesn't respect you. He would respect you more if you got up and walk away and walked away. Because what that shows is that you have self-esteem. What that shows is that you're not going to take this mess. And again, been there, done that. It's easy to fall back for it. It's easy to go back to it. I went back one time. One time and the treatment that I got the first, the second time going back. Wait, I was there. I left and I went back. When I went back. The treatment that I got was worse. It was the worst thing I've ever been through in my life. And that taught me a very, very valuable lesson. I packed up and left. So the treatment does not get better. It gets worse and worse and worse. And don't think hoovering 
is a sign that they love you either. Hoovering is when they treat you badly or they put their hands on you. They call you name, call you ugly, call you fat. Do the most horrible thing to you and you're mad. Maybe you leave the house. Maybe you go back to your parents. Maybe you stop talking to them and then they come back with the flowers, the roses, the this and that. All the old treatments that brought you back. That's what hoovering is. They do that not because they love you, they do it to see how stupid you still are. And if you fall for it, they're like, oh my God, what a dummy. <laughs> um, and I say it and I'm laughing, but it's, it's not funny at all. That hoovering, once you see their true color, once the mask falls off, that is who they are. That representative is gone. The representative is gone. Now the representative is working for the new supply. Now they're they're getting the new supply in. Because narcissists, the thing about them is they love good things. They love beautiful women, successful women. And again, this goes for men and women, but I'm a woman. My, uh, the person I dealt with was a man. So I'm just going to refer to women. Um, they love beautiful women. They love successful women. They love likable. They like the best of the best. And when you come into the relationship, when you first, when you first come in, that's who you are. But they will deal with you to where you become a shell of yourself and you're not that person anymore. You're not that light person. You're not that joyful person. You're not that happy person, the beautiful girl. Your youth, your beauty is gone your ability to just be so happy and like a sunshine, it's gone. You're whining every day. You're crying every day. You start having like fine lines and wrinkles. You're not taking care of yourself anymore because you're depressed. You're down. Now you're ugly as they see you. So they don't want you anymore. You're not the beautiful woman they saw. You're not that. So now... They take you off the pedestal and they start to give that to the new supply. So if you think you can change their minds, if you think you can hold them down, if you think you can love them through it, the more you love them, the more they resent you. The more you show loyalty, the more they're going to hate you. They are not coming back. That representative is working for someone else now or working with someone else the new supply now they're be they're being charming to the new supply they're being a gentleman to the new supply the good morning text text is going to the new supply the you know when the new supply says um i feel like i gained a little bit of weight no you're beautiful you're gorgeous you are perfect to me you are this you're that all of that is going to the new supply it will never come back to you. They will never, ever, ever go back to being the person you met when you first met them. The best thing you can do for yourself when you actually see the red flags and the true color is to get up and leave. Get up and leave. And I know it's hard. Again, trust me, I've been there. It's hard. It's embarrassing. You wasted your time. Depending on how long you've been there, you you've wasted years. You've had a child by this person. You married this person. You have spent months with this person. You have made plans with this person. It is not going to get better, sis. It's not. It's going to get worse. The maltreatment is going to get worse. You are going to continue to become a shell of yourself to where you can't even look at yourself in the mirror. When I left my situation, I'll have to share some pictures with you guys and some videos. I was skinny. I was skin teen. I, was, I wasn't I was skinny. I was skin teen. Now, I'm a small woman, but that was the smallest I've ever been. My face looked completely different. My face was distorted. I didn't look anything like myself and a lot of you know exactly what i'm talking about the best thing you can do get with your families again get with your friends get with your support system and start to plan your escape get out of there the earlier you get out the better the later you get out the worse but it's never too late to get out get out as soon as you can and you will thank yourself for it